Hi, it's John here from Stuff It Let's Go Around Australia. Actually have something for you this week, amazingly. So um, we were thinking about our generator and it's pretty heavy. So um, whenever we're packing up, we always put it in the van. Um, so you're always lifting it in and out of the van. And as you know, van doors aren't that wide. So it's pretty hard to do. Um, and for how much we use it, it's not really worth my back breaking over it. So, what we're going to do, I've got my generator, as you've seen before, this is our generator. This is the, um, the Gentrax digital inverter generator. This is a 3.5 kilo, kilowatts, is it? Um, and what I want to do, I've gone and bought myself just a Giants generator box. I'll bring that out of the packaging in a second. But I'll come with me and I'll show you where we're going to put it on the van just to make life easier I want to be able to use it actually in that box locked all the time so I don't have to worry about it so we're coming down to the back of the van and we've got that bar there so I'm hoping to install it between the tire and the end and hopefully just lower than my lights at the back um, I've got to do a couple of measurements, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to work best. If not, may have to move the tyre, but we'll see how we go. Might even move the tyre to the edge and put the generator box in this nice incove. We'll see how we go. Alright, bear with me, I'm going to unpack that box. So, there we are. This is my generator box, it's going to go on the back. I actually think in the middle is going to be the best spot in the back of the van and just in there so I probably could have got the smaller box looking at it but oh well we can chuck some other stuff in there as well now as I said I actually want this to work um, with with it all locked up so I want to be able to lock this and have it running so in order to do that we're going to have to put some vents in it for the exhaust so it can vent and I'm also thinking we're going to insulate this and try to cut down some of the noise of the generator. Let's see how we go. Alright. So I've decided I'm going to take that spare wheel off and I'm going to actually put the um, in the middle with the caravan I just think it'll look a lot better so and we'll put the wheel to one side so I've got the angle grinder out and we are gonna cut around that I don't have my tools today so he's taking me car with me tools so we're just using to make some kitted stuff um, so safety first put your glasses on and we're gonna cut that off two six okay so I've angle grind ground the um, bracket off for the, the wheel. Now that's probably going to go, I'm thinking we'll reattach him about there, sort of even with that brake light. Hopefully it doesn't cover the brake light. You might have to lower it a bit. We'll see how we go. Um, I've just tidied this up a little, <laughs> not hugely. The main thing I'm concerned about is this face it needs to be nice and flat. Um, so we'll go do some measurements and see what we come up with, eh? Alright. So we've just gone down to the local hardware. Got a couple of these. So we're going to put a vent on both sides, intake, outtake. And also got, just like your computer ones, I'm going to pop them, I think, down in there so you can have two cords going through there. Well, got some holes to cut, so see you on the other side. So, what we've done here, we've just marked out centre, so on both sides, <coughs> for our two vents. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill just each corner, and then I'll angle grind that out. Okay, so you'll, you'll find that that'll work pretty easily. Okay, I'll do that now. 
about the straightness because you can level up your bend anyway when you put it on. So we've got some 50 by 50 right angle, it's pretty solid. We're going to run that under here and weld it to that um, back plate on the caravan, that bumper. And if you've got one of these tools that my old mate's using right now, makes life very easy. Like cutting butter. So we've done our holes. I'm just going to rivet this in four places on the vent. Um, and I've done a bit of just a bit of silicon around just to seal that a little. And Bob's your uncle. Now look at all that outback dust. So we decided to take the bar off. And um, yeah. Full of that dust. So come with me, show you what we're doing in the shed. Just made it a bit easier to work with doing it that way. Yo! That was trouble over there, I tell ya. So the bar's just set up on the bench here. Got these um, two right angles. Now that's actually going underneath the bar as well, so it's been cut out. To go under so it'll be a weld down there and also a weld going along the bottom of that bar on both sides and that should hold it in place pretty well so we'll do that and we'll see you on the other side <laughs> you may have noticed that um we had to cut that out because some silly person went ahead and put the hole in and forgot we we're putting this bar in. That would be me. So, whoopsie. <laughs> That's all right though. Someone else had to cut that semicircle out of that metal, not me. Mm. Looks all right. Beautiful. So we have that bar back on. So we've put that back on. Now we've re, I didn't want the wheel on the side in the end because this will just keep it all nice and even. It'll be all central. So we've reattached that wheel under there. Um, it's no lower than pretty much where it was anyway. Um, we've given all the, the bits of metal a spray with some rough, um, Rust resistant um, spray just finishes it off. And with the tyre, you probably need two people to put it up, but most times you're going to have two people. Worst case scenario, you just use your jack and you'd be able to jack it up and, um, and bolt it in place anyway. But it's not going anywhere and it's nice and neat. And um, we're going to go get the box and see what that looks like. That's with the box on. So. Yes, I'm saying so a lot again. So, 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 so. Um, so, as you can see, that fits nicely in there. I've got plenty of room in here that I reckon I might even be able to get my jerry can down in there when we're travelling. That'll help stop it moving. Um, and then that goes down. It's pretty good. But what I'm going to do. I reckon tomorrow I'm going to get some of those soundproof um, boards that you can get from Bunnings. I'm going to line this and see if I can bring the sound or the noise levels down a bit. So I'll do that tomorrow and we'll see how we go. Hi, so I went to Bunnings today and I got a couple of sheets of, um, what do you call it, um, acoustic board. It's about 10 mil thick. It's $29 for 800 by 1200 I think. 
So I've got two of those sheets and I've just lined the um, generator box with it. I've got the generator going now in there. So I think it has quieted it down a bit. Just um, open that. Just use silica, um, liquid nails to liquid that on. Uh, I think that sounds a bit better. And yeah, that's all been attached now too. So it all looks pretty good I reckon. It's come up well. So yes, it does extend the caravan a bit, but um, I'll just put the reversing camera on the end of that box or the reverse camera and that'll just help me know where we are when we're backing up and things like that but um, yeah this way hopefully we won't have to ever take it in and out we can fill it from there as well and um, does Diesel like it? Do you like it? Diesel do you like it? He's like no, nah, hate that noise I want to go inside I want to go inside ah, let me in let me in crazy dog Literally, he just got let out. Now he wants to go straight back in. But he'll survive. It's a nice day out there today. Look at that. Beautiful. Finish the um, generator box. It's a little ripper actually. It's going to make life so much easier. But we've added a few extra things on there. That's why this video is taking a bit longer. So I'll show you what we've done. So we've actually bought an outdoor PowerPoint fit it onto the outside of the box and in here I have hardwired so that there's a plug coming out of the um, like one of the outlets and that is hardwired into my outside power point so therefore I don't have to get in and out of here trying to plug stuff in when it's a bit tight in there. I've also got my Anderson plug connected to the DC charger and my caravan Anderson plug which isn't on at the moment it's actually fallen down just sits here usually I've got to re put it on and we also because I thought I'd what a great idea I'll get me um, jerry cans on the back and get them off the car because we're still struggling with a little bit of extra rate, weight on the go weight on the car so I put that on there and then forgot that the exhaust we'd vented out just here which would have got these way too hot so now we literally have an exhaust going down and through there and yes, that's very close to the tire down there, but it doesn't actually get that hot down the bottom. So, yeah. So now when we're camping, we can just turn it on the, on the Jenny where it is, sh shut the lid, and we can plug straight into those two power points there. So that's a really good, um, simple addition to the van that's going to make life that little bit easier if we ever get to go on the road again. Who knows? Until the next video, um, keep safe everyone. One day we might actually get back out there on the road, but um, who knows how long that's going to be. But until then, from Stuff It, let's go around Australia. Keep safe and we'll see you around the tracks one day.